Hey everybody, welcome back to Reaction Reviews. Before we get into the, today's video, um, as I'm making this video, it's 8.51 p.m. on Saturday evening, and um, President Trump has just been shot um, uh, at a rally in Pennsylvania. Um, it's all over the news, and they're showing that he is okay. Um, uh, the, the footage it shows is kind of harrowing, but uh, um, you see the, I mean, you can look up the footage if you want to. I'm just going to touch on it very briefly here, um, but you can see, uh, you, you hear the shots ring out, and you see him jerk his head and grab his ear, and then later on in the footage as the Secret Service is leading him out, you can see the blood dripping down the side of his face. So it was really concerning, really shocking to see these events. Um, they have released a statement saying he is okay. Um, he's being treated for minor injuries, uh, but there is at least uh, one fatality of a bystander um, in the, you know, an innocent victim at the rally, and also the, the shooter has been neutralized by Secret Service or uh, whatever law enforcement was able to uh, accomplish that. But anyway, um, just off the very bat, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to, you know, say a quick prayer for, for Donald Trump and uh, for the rally goers and any innocent bystanders that may have been caught up in this. Um, just to, I don't care what your political leanings are, what party you support, what candidate you support, there is no place in our society uh, for this kind of political violence. Um, we've seen it throughout our history. I mean, you've, we've had presidents assassinated, and uh, we've had a lot of presidential assassination attempts. And uh, so it's not really all that shocking when something like this happens, but it is so rare that we see, you know, we've got great Secret Service and great uh, law enforcement agencies uh, and officials that uh, do such a fantastic job of uh, putting up security and protecting our leaders that when it does happen, it, it is shocking. And uh, so uh, just, I just wanted to say real quick, uh, just uh, say a quick prayer for President Trump, a uh, quick prayer for any, but any of those who were affected by this um, at the rally, either injured uh, or a fatality, or uh, those that are just, uh, that witnessed it, that are, um, you know, dealing with the aftermath uh, and the tragedy of that. So um, with that aside, um, let's move on to today's video. Uh, we are reacting to Captain America Brave New World, official teaser in, February, in, in, teaser, or in theaters February 14th. I'm a little bit flustered right now, so I'm having a hard time speaking. But uh, in theaters February 14th, 2025. So um, that's what, six, seven months away? So, but I'm excited about this. Um, I'm hopeful, optimistic. Before seeing the trailer, before seeing the teaser, um, that hopefully we're going to get something good from Marvel again. Marvel has been so fantastic with the MCU uh, since they launched it uh, with Phase 1, and Phase 2 was great, Phase 3 was great, and then here with the last phase they, they went through, they just started to get woke and uh, started going off on tangents and everything, and having to uh, put this crazy uh, political ideology uh, into everything. And one of the worst examples of that was Thor Love and Thunder, was just absolutely atrocious. And uh, basically everything that uh, Marvel has put out since then has been uh, equally horrible, um, with few very minor exceptions. Um, some of the, the, the TV series they put out were pretty good. Uh, the Loki series, for example, was good. Um, the, uh, uh, the Captain America, not, not Captain America, but uh, um, the Falcon and Winter Soldier series was good. Um, so you had some good ones in there. Uh, but now that they're getting back to some of the original characters, I know uh, Captain America, the Steve Rogers is gone. Uh, but uh, we've got uh, Anthony Mackie coming back, hopefully, uh, taking over Captain America. And, um, you know, a lot of us are tempted to uh, just dismiss it because of it's another minority character taking on uh, a, an iconic role. But I am giving this one a pass so far, you know, fingers crossed. Um, as of right now, I'm giving it a pass because, number one, I like Anthony Mackie. He's a good actor. Um, it fits with, uh, the comic books, the comic book, the way they went. Um, it made sense, the transition, the way they did it. Uh, it was beautiful the way they did the transition at the end of, uh, uh, 
the uh, uh, what was it the the last uh, the the two films they did back to back um, uh, Endgame. Uh, the transition they did with Captain America passing the torch on to him was just beautiful. The way they pulled that off, and uh, so I, if anybody can pull this off, I think Anthony Mackie can do it, taking over as the new Captain America. And so, um, with that said, uh, I am cautiously optimistic, just fingers crossed, just hoping beyond hope that Marvel gives us something good again, something to look forward to. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, teaser trailer and uh, see if it, you know, reinforces that hope or if it just shoots it down. All right, here we go. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. I thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting Harrison used to Ford, I like that. They said to lose the mustache or lose the election. Oh, there's an election. I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Ooh, assassination attempt. Boy, right out of the headlines. Sir, your inner circle's been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What if it's a trap? Global power is shifting. You're just a pawn. That wasn't his shield did that, was it? Okay, so he's, he's Falcon part-time. Or is that his new... Is that his, his Captain America outfit? It's a combination of the two. Okay, now this looks interesting. Um, I hope they don't go with the cliche um, of the president being the bad guy in this. My first instinct is that, you know, they put they cast uh, Harrison Ford as this character. He's got it's got to be in a major role. Um, they, uh, they're going to be tempted to make him the bad guy, and uh, I don't want to see that again because it's so cliche. And so, uh, hopefully, they go a different route with it, and uh, and uh, you know, Harrison Ford's character playing the president. Um, he might have some negative uh, attributes, uh, but like he said, uh, you know, let's put our differences behind us and work together for the good of the country sort of thing. Um, I want to see him be uh, authentic about that, and I want to see this be a, a story about where he's truly, tr uh, Captain America is truly having to protect the president. Uh, something a little bit refreshing and different than the, the tired old trope of uh, the president turning out to be the bad guy. And once again, ripped that right out of the headlines. Just as President Trump uh, survives an assassination attempt today, um, yesterday uh, they released this teaser trailer for uh, the new Marvel movie that features an assassination attempt on the president. So uh, it's it's right it's timely. Ripped right out of the headlines. Uh, but uh, so far, I'm a little bit curious about uh, his uh, his uniform in here, Captain America's outfit. Um, at some points, it almost looks a little bit like a Captain America outfit, and at some points, it looks like his old Falcon outfit. It's still got the wings and everything. I'm wondering if he transitions from the old outfit into a new one at a certain point. At one point there, uh, where it showed uh, the profile from his leg, uh, and just the, the shield, he threw the shield down and it stuck in the ground next to him, that almost looked like a different Captain America outfit. So... Uh, I'll be excited to see that, what they come up with for an outfit for him. I hope that they give him an authentic Captain America outfit. Obviously not the same one that Steve Rogers wore. Uh, and you can't really say he wore one because he had several. But uh, I want him to have a new Captain America outfit. But I want it to look as close to Captain America 
uh, his traditional outfit as possible so that when we see him in the sky flying by, we don't think Falcon. We think Captain America. That's, the, that's his new title. That's the role he's taken over. Um, uh, I, want him, I want to see Falcon be a Captain America for all people. That's what Steve Rogers stood for. Uh, a lot of people look at uh, you know, that type of character uh, coming out of a history to where um, before he, he, he was basically a hero in the time before we had the Civil Rights Movement. And so as he adapted to uh, the new society, the new world that he woke up in, um, he had to adjust to all these things. But at the same time, he was still a hero for all people. And uh, even despite his uh, upbringing and the society that he grew up in, uh, he had that, you know, he, he is the embodiment of what I think America should be. Uh, you know, striving to be better, striving to be for all people, and uh, just doing his best to be Captain America. Not just Captain White people, not just Captain uh, Rich people, not just Captain Privileged people, but Captain America for all Americans. And beyond that, for the world, for that matter, um, but specifically Captain America. And as he takes over this new mantle, that's a role that he's going to have to take on for himself. I think he can do it. Um, in the, the, the TV series that they did with him, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, they kind of went a little bit back and forth on that, where he struggled with his knowledge of history and uh, knowing how... Uh, things can be against minorities in a lot of ways, but at the same time, uh, still striving to bring that unity to America. And I want to see him be a character that that holds on to that standard and uh, keeps on trying to uh, take on the role that Captain America leaves, the hole that he leaves, and to be able to uh, fill that gap. Um this looks interesting. Um, didn't really, uh, I mean, it showed some characters on there I didn't recognize. I recognize a couple of the actors look familiar, but I can't place them. Uh, so I can't really point, pinpoint as to who uh, the villains might be in this. But it is just a teaser, and uh, we don't expect to get too much from it. Um, but uh, as of right now, just seeing this teaser the way it came up, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, it is looking better to me than a lot of the stuff that Disney and Marvel has put out in the last couple of years. And uh, so I've got my fingers crossed. Uh, what do you guys think? Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know uh, what you think about it. Um, and uh, we'll see when it comes out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment down below, and uh, subscribe to the channel so that you know when we add new uh, content. And turn on notifications as well. And uh, be sure to go over and check out our other playlists, particularly uh, the Light Side Music Reactions. We are putting up uh, new content on that almost daily. We're putting up at least uh, four, five, sometimes six uh, videos in that playlist per week. And so if you have any songs, musicians, artists that you think I should react to, go ahead and check out that, those playlists. Give me some recommendations. And as always, if I react to something that you recommend, I will give you a shout out on that video. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Reaction Reviews. Bye, everybody.